Hey, what's up, everybody? We just got this Asus GX701 from one of our customers with a defective motherboard. Today, we are going to disassemble it and to see what's going on inside. As always, we'll start with the bottom case and carefully removing all necessary screws. This particular model is a bit tricky to take apart. After unscrewing the bottom panel, the palm rest needs to be removed first. And I did not really use any pry tools, it snapped out fairly easy with my fingers. There are a few rebound cables to disconnect and once the palm rest is off, we get a full view of the internal components. I'll begin my journey here by disconnecting snap-on power cable and detach the battery. There are a few Phillips screws that need to be pulled and once the battery out, you can clearly see on internal part of the battery the actual part number if in case you need to replace it. This laptop has one replaceable memory RAM stick and a single SSD which can be swapped out by removing just one screw. Now let's move on to the heatsink and the cooling fans. The cooling system in this laptop is massive and as you can see it's pretty dusty and clogged. In cases like this cleaning the fans is essential. If you are replacing the heatsink always make sure to replace and reapply thermal pads and thermal paste for optimal performance. Now, let's disconnect the Wi-Fi antenna cables and start the motherboard removal process. There are only three screws holding it in place and with those out, the motherboard comes free. On the left side of the motherboard, you'll see the soldered Wi-Fi card GPU processor, CPU processor, sticker with the replacement part number and in case you need to replace the CMOS battery. All the ports are soldered directly to the motherboard. Finally, I'll detach the LCD screen and the last but not least, remove two internal speakers. Peace. 